Good morning, Cowboy Jim. Well, I really don't need to see myself to speak to myself. Um, I I just finished uh, packaging my um, um, burritos, uh, beef burritos. Uh, I do make a chicken fajita thing that I'll I'll delineate fairly clearly for you. <laughs> and as I was as I'm sorry about this, I'm not really sorry at all. Um, I was just <laughs> listening uh, to my favorite radio station up here, who incidentally they haven't played my one favorite songwriter and singer for a while. Uh, but anyways, they had a, a song on there about Daniel Boone. And I thought, that fresh stuff that I've seen come out of a lot of my horses over the years that I inadvertently had to wear a flat out intentionally uh, stood in uh, was best exemplified in American history where some white idiots came across the water, got to America, and uh, celebrated the fact that they were such great explorers as to find a way across the country, through the mountains, across the plains. And what stupidity. I mean, come on. They followed a trails made by somebody. The somebody buddies were First Nations peoples. And the white, uh, take it, this is white skin. So it should actually validate a little bit of what I'm saying. My First Nations brothers' ancestors cut those trails. And they didn't cut much because rather than going through like as though they were a bull in a china shop, they walked around some obstacles to find the most intelligent and convenient way to get from point A to point B and still see the land. And we white people revel in how wonderful we were to explore the world and find our way. Well, all they had to do is fo follow the bloody trails. Anyways, okay. So much for history. Not so much history, but the recording of history. What crap? I'm telling you, what crap? No wonder, no wonder indigenous people are. Oh, you don't, you don't want me to say the words that are on the tip of my tongue. I mean sound a little rude, crude. Not lewd this time, but crude. Anyways, okay, here. So, I will recover from this hypocrisy. Perfect, 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 great, right? whatever perpetuated <laughs> by a people group who are so bloody and secure in their whiteness that they choose the history that most reflects how they look and appear. Uh, Coeur de Bois Coeur de Bois guys that were kind of built like I am but could carry almost twice their weight 
working their way through from the East Coast to the West with the help of some good people who had already made the trails, who already knew how to cross the Great Lakes and what river to take. But those guys, those Coeur de Bois and those First Nations people, let me tell you, hot damn, those children knew how to work. Always wanted to learn how to speak French, haven't made it yet, but I may one day. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try. Quiet that Irish blood. Anyways, I'm looking over. Uh, this is a hamburger, a burger, a ground beef. Uh, lean, if you can afford it, do it. It's better for you. It's not quite as tasty as the hamburger that has too much fat in it because therein is a, a lot of flavor. But if I look kind of out of the, I have really good peripheral vision. Um, I have 11 spices, uh, 11 different types of spices over there. And what I do is I take a fairly large pod, I take a large package of Hamburg, and uh, I, I put her in uh, my large pod, and uh, I, I cook it. And uh, I, I want to brown it a bit, uh, but as I do, I, uh, I start with my spices. And uh, yes, um, those 11 different types of spices, they're all from the same place south of us here called Kirkland. And, uh, and I use uh, fresh garlic if I can, uh, uh, a whole funny, uh, whatever, the, I think it's clove. I, I don't know. I don't care. I use a lot of garlic because I'm single. And, well, I'll probably remain that way for a long time. Oh, not because of the garlic, but, jeez, I'm shy. And uh, I brown my hamburg, and I start with my spices. And I, I use, I'm sorry, get over it. I use uh, pepper. I use Montreal chicken spice uh, because it's not as salty. I have been taught by a bodybuilder uh, that I have to use more salt. I use crushed chilies. And children, uh, you have to understand that that's an understatement. I'll probably put uh, two to three tablespoons of crushed chilies in my hamburg uh, by the time it becomes a, a burrito. Um, so I start off with at least one tablespoon heaping crushed chilies. And then, uh, because I'm just not, not totally convinced that, uh, I, I, uh, anyways, I put taco, uh, seasoning in there. And, uh, then, if I can remember, I use, uh, ground turmeric. And the reason, I met two Indian doctors one time. They were uh, looking at our ranch when it was listed for $2 under $2 million. It's right now under $1 million, thanks to stupidity. And uh, they say, I, I said, I've heard of turmeric. And they said, it's the only thing that has kept uh, Alzheimer's uh, from entering India. They said, listen. We don't mean that we don't have crazy people, but we do not have people at all, not at all, who suffer from Alzheimer's because uh, of turmeric, a simple, wonderful spice. And uh, I, I've used it for years, and dear Lord, if you were to understand um, my ability to remember, uh, you would understand that without turmeric, it'd be much worse. Although it is a family thing. Uh, our family, none of us can remember very much, probably because we choose not to and really don't care. Uh, next one, uh, salt. Uh, the bodybuilder uh, who uh, if you ever met, you'd never forget. I, I can't. I tried once. I forget it. Can't. Uh, she said, and I'm pretty sure she said, uh, Himalayan salt. It, it's pink stuff at, at Costco. Uh Ground garlic, 
I can't see it. Oh, dear Lord. Anyways, uh, ground, uh, yep, still can't see it. Uh, peppers and, and uh, crushed garlic. Uh, roasted. Uh, regular pepper. Uh, fries, seasoning salt. Too salty. Uh, and on the off chance uh, that one handful of garlic, whatever they're called, uh, isn't enough. I, I, I put uh, garlic plus in there. I, uh, I really fry the blazes out of that. Uh, as I do, I, I continue to, uh, to spice. Uh, if you've been smoking as long as I have, uh, the concept of spicing to uh, taste, well, that's just stupid. Was, well, anyways, it's rather futile. But anyways, I do, kind of. I'm going to turn this. I'm not sure why, but yep, that's better. Mm, almost better. Um, when I get that hamburg well cooked, I don't drain the grease off. I try to buy lean, make up for it by spicing. Uh, I'm pretty spicy in that department. Um, I start adding uh, some um, healthy ingredients, um, but only when the hamburg's truly, truly, truly done. I'll take a, a pound of, of mushrooms, uh, slice them up, I'll put them in with the hamburg as I'm cooking the hamburg. I'll take green peppers. I'll do the same thing. Um, I'll take a, a real onion. And uh, although I'm very concerned about my bad breath, which is, as a, uh, I don't think I have any bad breath. It's any breath at my age is pretty good. Um, well, no one's complained, but no one's gotten that close that they could say, geez, mouthwash may help. Well, it may, but I don't know that I need the help. But nonetheless, I fry the ever-loving hell out. I, I'm only going to use one word, maybe. That might not sound good. My sisters would say, you don't need to do that. My mother, she'd hit me. She's going to be with the Lord. Well, I miss her. But... So, hey, cook the hell out of it. Okay. I, um, if I chose to, I'd use fresh tomatoes and I would slice them up. Well, I don't choose to because it's just a lot of work. And so I, I, I take a couple of cans of uh, crushed, uh, diced tomatoes, tomatoes, and um, I get that in there. When the hamburger is pretty well cooked and the mushrooms and all that, and they'll, they'll continue to cook. And I pull, uh, I start pulling uh, cans of uh, beans. Um, I, I really uh, uh, prefer Libby's beans. You have to, you have to search for them because that company was bought out by Heinz and so on about 15 years ago. And, and uh, Libby's beans were uh, the best in the land. And only in Canada, you say. Well, actually, that's not true. Also in the States. But nonetheless, they claim everything they do is better, bigger. Well, it could be. Um, I take white kidney beans. I, I, I like those. I take two cans. Uh, I do enjoy uh, red kidney beans. I take two cans. Uh I really like black uh, beans, uh, so I take two cans. And, uh, of course, my uh, two cans of uh, tomato, diced tomato stuff. And um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I, I would like to take a regular, a couple of regular cans of beans and uh, throw them in a, almost a frying pan situation and uh, cook, cook uh, uh, them cook the hell out of them, and crush them, okay? Um, uh, it, it's kind of like refried beans. And I start adding those cans, and as I do, I continue to spice. 
And uh, so I'll add a can of everything, one can, and uh, I'll stir, I'll blend it in with a Hamburg, I'll check to make sure my mushrooms are, 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 are coming, my green peppers, so on, and uh, my garlic. Oh, geez, I forgot about that. Anyways, I use a whole funny thing of garlic, and, uh, and I'll, I'll put that in there. I, I take the wrapping off, right? You know, that funny stuff that when you, you get you all over the floor, it's worth it. And, uh, and then I spice again. I go through all 11 of my spices, uh, another tablespoon of crushed chilies, uh, because mm, my taste buds uh, are somewhat, shall we say, not participating as much as they once did. Anyways, uh, and then after I have spiced uh, out of it, uh, again, I will stir and, and stir and, uh, and blend my refried beans, uh, in there. And then I'll do my last and final can of everything. And I'm, we're talking about a good size pot of which death by chocolate, you understand it has to be large. Um, because if you're cooking, it takes about the same amount of heat to make, uh, six or eight meals, um, for a, a single person or two or three or really, really, really good meals that you can, uh, eat one today, uh, your whole blessed family and half the neighborhood and freeze, uh, one or two more, uh, to use another day. It's called planning ahead. It's also, uh, a good, if you try what you've cooked the first time, you don't like it, just throw the rest of the crap out. Um, but I don't throw much out because well, uh, I spoke about the taste buds. Uh, yes. Cook the hell out of that stuff. Um, I like uh, to take a cup of rice, uh, dry rice, uh, uh, mix it in with uh, my uh, uh, burrito mix, I do drain uh, the juice of the uh, beans, uh, not the regular beans, but the other beans, you know what I'm saying? And as much as I can, uh, perhaps I'm losing flavor in, in so doing, I'm not sure. And I get that all into a, 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 a state of, of cooking. And uh, now, when I'm all done, I may actually uh, uh, taste uh, what what I've made. And if, perchance, the odds are against it. But if the taste buds have recovered, and I haven't been outside in the last 12 minutes, uh, they may have started to work again. And then I can tell, uh, does it taste any good? I uh, particularly like uh, soft uh, tortillas. Uh, um, it, anyways, I do. The problem with them that I find is this. Uh, depending on whether you make one or 20, um, the one that you eat, you better not eat more than one, um, but you will, could be able to, let me tell you, children, if the stuff tastes half as good as I know it would and has and will and does. Um, yeah, be careful, children. Uh, it's good for you to have a big heart. It, it truly is. You, you learn to care for people. It's not good if you have a big body that is going to die at the first sign of exertion. Okay. I'm in your corner. 
I mean, heaviest I ever weighed was 204 pounds. Uh, that was back in my bear wrestling days at judo. Back in judo, I was 167 pounds. I would not dare gain a pound more than that because then they put me in a group, uh, a division of people from 168 to about 198. And it was more difficult to fight. It wasn't that hard to fight, but it was very hard to win. Okay. I will take Parmesan cheese and uh, I'll fire that in uh, the mix as well. I taste, I, I re uh, spice, uh, put my last uh, tablespoon of uh, crushed chilies in there and uh, I let it simmer. Uh, if, if a person chose to, you could slide it over to a slow cooker and let her uh, cook on low uh, for about 20 hours. Uh, the benefit of that is that the flavors permeate uh, each other. Um, visually, you have something that truly looks good. Someday I'm going to get a camera and uh, that I can actually show you how something does look. And um, I will, uh, when I'm all done, and I mean done, uh, I will take uh, no, not a tortilla. Well, I may use one tortilla, uh, but that'll be the last one uh, because I, I feel that I can get the same benefit uh, from uh, uh, taking a couple of ladles of uh, uh, burrito uh, junk that I've made, um, uh, whatever you call it. I, I, I don't know what to call it. I don't think you need to call it. I don't think so. And I'll, I'll put that on a plate. And if I am feeling like I need support, the vegetable producers, I will have a salad. I like salads. And I have one every month or so. But when I do, I enjoy it. Now, listen. Uh, I let that kind of cool down uh, overnight, and I will I, I, I will eat that first first one, uh, but I won't have a second, uh, not for 20 minutes, uh, because uh, my stomach, uh, though it is uh, thanks to Kellogg's brand buds and the greatest doctor in the world, he's from Oles. He said, Jim, if you want to live the rest of your life and avoid 99.9% .9 uh, chance of ever having gut-related cancer. Uh, I was, oh, that was 40 years ago. Uh, he said, take one inch of Kellogg's brand buds in a glass of milk every night. He says, if you want to make it a little sweeter, use some maple syrup in there. Uh, let it soften a bit, uh, stir it, and you drink that before you go to bed. And if after supper, uh, an hour or so after supper, you're beginning to feel a little hungry. Uh, do the brand buds right then there, uh, because ten minutes later you your stomach will be full. And he said you will probably live your whole life uh, without heartburn, uh, um, any of the gut related things, colitis, all that crap, um, because. You ate, drank, but ate one inch of Kellogg's brand buds in an eight ounce glass of milk before you go to bed. Or as I say, when you get hungry after supper, because it takes your stomach 20 minutes to get the message to your brain. Don't send any more food down here because we're full and we're going to blow up. I like that. Second time I thought of that. First time was death by chocolate. Ooh, children. Even that you're able to think when you look at a bowl of death by chocolate that can probably feed 30 or 40 people. It's quite amazing. Anyways, so I, I, uh, 
I will take one meal out of that pot uh, when it's cooled down enough, and then I take freezer bags. And uh, I just put six bags of uh, burrito, uh, Hamburg uh, junk in my freezer. Uh, now, I can reach in there uh, and grab one of those uh, in the morning. Uh, well, I can microwave it. Uh, and that that's a meal for me. And uh, uh, I'll do the chicken fajita one next. But in the meantime, we're already over. So God bless you. Have a good day. And uh, don't eat too much, eh? Uh, hey, it's not wrong to exercise. Pretty sure.